Joe and I got an elliptical. So after work, I normally, on Wednesdays, come home and pretty much go right to bed. Because a lot of the time I'm tired. Um, I still am tired. But a lot of the time I'm tired, and so my body's like, yeah, sleep. But today, I ended up hanging out with a couple of my coworkers, uh, and we ended up going to the local game shop. I traded in four N64 games uh, that I had duplicates of, and a couple of scattershot of others, and I ended up picking up something. Uh, because of my trade-in, I only had to pay $62 for this, which is worth 80 I got Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on GameCube. And it's complete in box. And honestly, and this is something that I um, have been a bunch more aware of, uh, I check the discs and this disc looks pretty good. I don't know how well it's coming through on the camera, but I'm not even, I'm not really seeing much, in, if anything, in the way of scratches. So this is very, very pleasing. When I was younger, when I got my first couple of GameCube games, the, um, <sighs> the person I got them from offered a copy of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door along with other stuff. And I turned it down. And that's one of my biggest regrets in gaming is turning down that copy of The Thousand Year Door because it would have been a complete in box. It would have been pretty much brand new at the time. And, you know, some 18 years later, I got a copy finally. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited to have this, especially because I got it at a good discount. So, uh, like I said, price charting has it at $80. I paid 62 <laughs> So I'm very happy with this. And they threw in a free Game Boy Advance game, <laughs> Chicken Little. I figured, why not? Uh, but, yeah, I got a, a big find today, and I'm very excited. Very, very excited. I was setting up a thing with my N64. Um, back in April, Jordan got me a particular game. Uh, it was a ROM hack of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And that ROM hack is called Majora's Mask Master Quest. Kind of playing on the whole Ocarina of Time Master Quest that Nintendo did in the GameCube era, as well as the 3DS. Um, and because I have the N64 set up, and I've been thinking a lot about the, the N64 Zeldas, uh, I decided to pop it in and, and boot it up. And it was giving me a little bit of issue. I'm wondering if it's because it's an N64 ROM hack. <laughs> um, but I also have been like having issues with this N64 for a little bit. Um, so it's also possible that it's the console. But the good news is I um, got it working and, and I can start playing it. But first, I'm playing through a randomizer. And that randomizer is a combination randomizer of Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. I think I may have mentioned doing one back in like December that one I got stuck on. This one I've, it's been slow, but I've been making progress every, every little bit. Um, I have a decent amount of stuff now, so I, and I have, but I've only beaten one dungeon, because, uh, I have a lot of things turned on. So this started because I was watching a friend's stream, and he had gotten the seed from a, a mutual friend of ours, and it randomized so many things. And I'm regretting doing one with the same settings. <laughs> but it's been fun, honestly. Every little bit I do has been some progress, so... I don't feel, like, stuck or lost the way that I did with the first one. The most annoying thing, though, is that it also has entrance randomizer, which has been a little rough. But it's fine. It's fine. 
Anyway, I'll update you on that when I make progress on it. And this is Premiere Pro, as you know. And this is what remains of Uno. There's a good 50 minutes left. And that's after the, um... That's after the two episodes that'll be out by the time this vlog releases. Um, we only recorded for like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, but each episode's only been about 10 minutes because the games have not been super long. I know there is one that went on for a while somewhere in here. But most of them have been reasonable length. You could sit down and watch them while you're eating or, or something. Um... And I'm hoping that they, for the most part, stay that way. And I would also like to get other games recorded. Um, because I am eventually going to run out of this. So I should try to get them um, together sometime this this week. And then record m maybe golf. Maybe more Uno. Something. So. You still have Uno. But it is... Um, it is gonna be the only and friends thing for a bit, <laughs> which is a little unfortunate. I guess I could still do the, um, Black Ops stuff, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's a little weird to not see this at, um, on Tuesday, right? Um, I only just woke up like an hour ago if that uh it's about one o'clock and i work at two but i didn't get to sleep till like 5 a.m and that uh, is mostly my fault um i got too sucked into what i was doing and by the time i realized it was already for something so i was like fuck i gotta go to bed so I went to bed and didn't fall asleep for like an hour, which is about normal for me. Um, and I set a bunch of alarms and one might be going off here soon. I don't remember how many are after one o'clock, but I do need to go to bed. I go to bed. I do need to go to work. And by the time I get home, I'm going to be ready to go back to bed. So hopefully tomorrow is better, but... If not, I'll update you on uh, anything else that goes on today. So after I got home from work, I, um, or rather, while I was at work, uh, I texted Jordan, texted uh, Courtney, was like, hey guys, do you want to play some stuff today? And so we played some golf, and none of the courses were, like, exceptionally bad, although there were, there was one that we played that was very Plinko, uh, inspired, and it didn't like me. There were a lot of points where I was, like, frustrated at it. Like, I don't get loud and, and yelly when I get frustrated. Uh, I tend to lean more towards the the silent stewing anger uh but there were there were there was a few points where i was starting to get uh annoyed um but uh overall i feel like the videos were pretty good uh so look forward to that at some point i don't know exactly the timeline on release but i do plan on like not having only uno <laughs> forever uh which is why i was like hey let's play something other than uno today um and i and i do have other plans for playing stuff with them um and i am gonna try to get other people involved as well i don't know the full roster uh but at the very least i have uh jordan courtney and amber on board so they um they're an entertaining crowd. <laughs> um, and, and I don't know, I enjoy spending time with them. But look forward to more and friends content, and I'll try to get more 
Pikmin done on my next day off, which is Tuesday. So hopefully things go well. And I'll, uh, I'll update you if that it changes. <laughs> if not, that's it for today. I have been playing this randomizer for approximately 20 hours now combined, right? And I only just got the first fucking wallet for Majora's Mask. This is so fucking infuriating, man. I enjoy this randomizer, but my god, has it been frustrating. I haven't been able to do anything in Majora because I haven't had a wallet. And I finally have a wallet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Midnight Meeting is the one that did it. Midnight Meeting with Andrew. <sighs> <sighs> I'm running out of things to do. I've, I've gotten most of the dungeon rewards, but I haven't beaten... I've only beaten, like, two dungeons. And, and like I said, I've only had, um... I've, I've had no wallet in Majora. I've only had, uh, up to the adult's wallet in Ocarina. I started with neither. With nothing in either. Oh my god. I can finally make more progress. It was a, um... It was a very good day today. I started the day by doing a stream. Uh, I reacted to a Pokemon Direct Presents, Pokemon Presents, and uh, it was actually a pretty good one, if I'm, all, if I'm being honest. Um, the biggest announcement, if you haven't seen, was the, um, the, the Pokemon Legends game. Pokemon Legends AZ, I think it's called, or ZA, or whatever, however it's supposed to be, um, which is a Pokemon Legends game set in Kalos, which is not where I expected the next one to be, but I'm all for it, because <laughs> there's the possibility that we see Kalos during the era of the, the, the ultimate weapon that AZ made. Which is very um, exciting to me, uh, because they've mentioned war in Pokemon before, but they've never been like super in depth with it. So I'm I'm excited to see what they pull off with this. The other thing, um, they didn't announce where Worlds is this year, which is a little unusual. Uh, but eh. But I did a stream, and after watching the, uh, the event, the event, the presentation, I played some Pikmin. Um, uh, got a decent chunk through the Wistful Wilds, and then, um, just did a, uh, did, did some stuff around the house today. Joe had gotten... Uh, a bigger check because of stuff going on in the band that I'm not going to talk about right now. I'll talk about that later this week. Um, but his his checks from the band got bigger, so he was able to get this piece of equipment that he was eyeing. So we were working on setting that up today. And to do that, we needed to, to do some cleaning to, to, one, give a good workspace, and two, find pieces that we needed to put together a new... Uh, rack for him but we got that taken care of and then I finally got around to starting to set up my memory card that I got last week the uh the mem pro 2 I believe it's called mem card pro um which is for the ps2 and one of the things that it'll let me do is put my games onto a hard drive so I got the the memory card set up I just gotta now set up the hard drive which again I have, I have truck tomorrow, so I can't really do that right now, but then I'm off the rest of the day and Thursday, so I'll try to fit it in before I have to be back at work. Either way, I'm all good, <laughs> but I do need to go to bed, so I'm gonna have to call it here. I'd like to thank you all for watching, hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week.